Good work. We'll not only get the money, but we'll find out who this Umbri is. Look out! Take care of this. Kilgo and Fowler attempted an attack, but I managed to drive them off. Miss Rita will be happy to hear that. She's on her way back to camp from Black Rock Cave. It must be your retreat. I, I didn't mean to intrude. I, I stumbled in here by accident. Who are you? Why have you been risking your life to help me, only to vanish before I could thank you? The time has come to explain. I inherited a sacred trust handed down to me from my grandfather, Don Diego Vega. He was the original Zorro. There are many legends of Zorro. But only one true legend, ripped from the early history of the West, as a small boy, my grandfather told me his story. He was Zorro. And now, I am Zorro. Ken. Yes, Ken Mason. I didn't know. I, I had no idea. You weren't supposed to, Rita. For your protection and that of every other decent citizen, I had to remain anonymous. That is why, on the first day in St. Joe... Mr. White? I'm Ken Mason. I believe you were expecting me. I wasn't expecting such a fine gentleman. Maybe there's been a mistake. There's no mistake, Mr. White. Stringing telegraph lines through outlaw territory is no small job, Mr. Mason. If you have... I anticipate no unusual problems. Miss, uh... My daughter, Rita. She's my assistant. Delighted. Mr. Mason, if the line is not completed by November 15th, we lose our franchise. If you have any doubts as to your ability to meet that date, now is the time to bow out. And break our contract? <laughs> I wouldn't think of it, Miss White. Very well, Mason. Here's your crew. There's a wagon train waiting at Haddon Stables to transport men and supplies to a base camp in Echo Canyon near the town of Twin Bluffs. Good. I'll see you at Echo Canyon. All right, men. Let's go. The dual role I chose to play was slightly embarrassing at times, but necessary if my plan was to succeed. Then came that first Indian attack on you and your father. I remember. We saw you from the wagon. Hey, Rita! Help's coming! It's Ken Mason!
that unprovoked Indian attack convinced me that we were up against more than just hostile renegades. I realized someone with a cunning brain was behind them, plotting their moves against us. That's when you decided to ride a Zorro. Only when I spotted that same band of Indians heading for our base camp. Suspecting trouble, I came back to this cave and... Watson, it's necessary for Zorro to ride. Indians are riding towards our base camp. The same band that killed Mr. White. They're out to make more trouble. Quickly, saddle firebrand. Indians! Indians! Get your rifles, men! Load your gun up! had escaped. We knew they wanted our survey map detailing our proposed telegraph route. They didn't get it. That's something else I owe to you. And you owe something to Moccasin, a loyal family servant. It was his aid and encouragement that inspired me to return as Zorro. As Zorro, you've been wonderful. As Ken Mason, I've done you a great injustice. I'll begin making amends by guarding your secret. Someday we'll catch up with whoever's responsible for these outrages. Meanwhile, we have a construction deadline to meet. Rita, we're going to jump the gun before the line reaches our objective. Twin Bluffs. But why? Because that's where our enemies may strike last. However, our wires already extend from St. Joe to Indian Gap. What if we were to establish contact between those points? Why, that would put us in touch with law and order. Federal troops, if necessary. We could get our line through without further trouble. Exactly, Rita. That's why I've advised the St. Joe Communications Council to try an experimental test message between there and our base camp. When? What day? As soon as the sending unit and sounder box mechanism arrives from the east. The eyes of the nation are on Pioneer Telegraph. Next Tuesday, November 8th at 12 noon, the long-awaited experimental message will be flashed across the land, marking a milepost in the field of communication. How do you like that? Read the rest of it. That's enough, ain't it? Once that test hookup is made, Pioneer Telegraph will have clear sailing on its last leg into Twin Bluffs. You don't say. This paper says it. That paper also says it's a temporary hookup. And the telegraphic messages are possible only with a special booster unit to take the place of the permanent power supply at this end of the line. Well, what can we do about it? I've taken care of that. This box contains an exact duplicate of that booster unit, fixed to explode the moment that first message comes in. Sounds good, but how do we get it into Pioneer's hands? Their unit will come in on the afternoon stage. So you'll pay a little visit to that freight depot tonight and exchange this box for theirs.
done. The line circuit is now open to St. Joe. We'll soon be receiving our first message over Pioneer Telegraph. This is it. It's exactly 12 noon. 